welcome to the Holy Cannoli Cooking Show. I'm Ron Menizzi and I am here to show you an easy way today how to make baked ziti. I'm going to show you how simple it is, put a few ingredients together. If you're entertaining a large crowd, this is a great way to make something that's very inexpensive and very easy to make a lot of if you want to say you have a, a bunch of people over and you want to make something that you don't know how to entertain for all of them. This is a great way to do it and I'll show you how it is uh, right now. Alright, first thing we're going to do is I got some ground beef. I got about a pound and a half of ground beef and I got some tomato sauce. If you want to make your own tomato sauce, like I love to make my own tomato sauce, it's great. But if you're in a hurry, you can put like two or three, two or three jars of tomato sauce in here. I'm going to take my ground beef. You can use ground turkey. You could use ground sausage. I just browned it real simply and I'm going to mix that right in here with my sauce. Very simple. So far this is two ingredients. We're just sticking our ground beef right into our sauce mixture. All right, put this in here together. I'm gonna bring this right over here. Mix it, look how nice, beautiful. Mix it all in here. If you're using jar sauce, if you wanna tweak it, make it your own, add a little bit of garlic in there, add some fresh herbs, a little bit of sugar, which kills the acidity, which is great. And it's a wonderful way to just make your own sauce out of store-bought sauce, very simple. Okay, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna start layering our big ziti. First thing we do is we put down our sauce on the bottom. I'm going to put down a couple spoonfuls of that. Baked ziti. We got the first layer down there. Then we got, I got some penne rigat. That's what it's called. It's got the ridges in it. I like that because it seems to hold the sauce a little better. We're going to put some of that on our first. We're going to kind of layer this, kind of like making a lasagna. If you've made lasagna before, this is very similar to making lasagna. Okay, we've got a layer of that. Then I have mozzarella, fresh mozzarella here. If you can use 100% whole milk, that would be a lot better. It's a lot creamier, it tastes a lot better. And I have regatta, same thing. Whole milk regatta makes all the difference in the world, trust me. We're gonna start layering our cheese. Right on top there, fresh mozzarella. Make it nice, make it nice. Then we add our regatta in here, some dollops of regatta. Look at this. I'm telling you, if you don't use regatta, some people don't like regatta on their baked ziti, but to me, baked ziti without regatta is like uh, Leonardo without Da Vinci. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just love, regatta just makes, makes all the difference in the world. It gives it that wonderful creaminess. And whatever you do, look at me very carefully, whatever you do, don't use cottage cheese, please. Don't use cottage cheese. You make all the Italians uh, very unhappy if you use cottage cheese in your Italian dishes. All right, we're layering once again. We're layering our our sauce on here, our sauce mixture. See how simple this is? We're just it's just like building a casserole basically. Layer upon layer. Got some of uh, you know what? I got some Parmesan. You put some Parmesan in there if you like. A lot of people don't like Parmesan. I like Parmesan. You just keep layering, keep layering stuff. I missed it on the first one. Then we're gonna put some more penne. On top, see how simple this is? You just keep layering it. Put that in there. Put some regatta. Nice whole milk regatta. Look how simple this is. This is so easy, even I could do it. I'm not even a professional chef. Look at that, makes it nice and creamy. Put on top, I'm telling you, when you use regatta in your baked ziti and your Italian dishes, if you're making lasagna, whenever you use regatta versus something else, especially whole milk, it makes all the difference in the world. We put, um, my kids love regatta with spaghetti. We make like baked spaghetti. We put a, a dollop of uh, regatta sometimes on the bottom of our spaghetti dish. And before we put the pasta down, before we put the sauce down, it's wonderful. It just brings that creaminess to your dish. You got your whole milk mozzarella here. Does that look beautiful or what? We're gonna just, uh, we're gonna stop. Hey, you know what, let's, a little bit more. Why not, let's go for it. Put a little more sauce right on top. I think I got enough, I got enough uh, noodles in there. I'm gonna put some more sauce in there. We got ground beef. Once again, I say you can use ground turkey. I've used ground turkey. I've used uh, ground sausage. It's all, it all works. Whatever you like. Um, you don't even have to use meat. You can use a meatless big ziti if you like. It's up to you. Won't hurt my feelings. We're gonna put one more. I'm gonna put a little more. I'm gonna finish off the regatta because you can never have too much regatta. Beautiful whole milk. Regatta. I'm telling you, once again, I should I should work for the Regatta company because it's such a good 
a good way to uh, bring that Italian authentic flavor to your dishes when using regatta. We'll put that on top, and once once it starts cooking, it's gonna it's gonna kind of like all melt together. We're gonna finish it off with our mozzarella on top. We're gonna put um my oven is at 350. We're gonna keep this uncovered. Right, dump it all in. There. Put a little bit more Parmesan. We're gonna keep this in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, a thick one like this might take a little longer, 45 minutes. We're gonna put it on top there. We'll put it right here in the oven, 350, about 40, 45 minutes. You gotta see it's gonna get all nice and bubbly. It's coming all together. It is gonna be incredible. All right, our ziti's been cooking for about 45 minutes. All the cheeses are melted. They came together. We're gonna take it out now. Plate it up over here. Look at how beautiful the cheese is nice and brown and bubbly on top. Doesn't that look beautiful? We got our whole milk regatta in there. We got our mozzarella in there. Look at that beautiful. Look, see all the regatta? That looks wonderful. Isn't that just wonderful? That's just so easy. It was so easy to put this together. You saw it took me only a couple minutes to put all the ingredients together. Layered it just like a lasagna. I'm gonna sprinkle a little of this with a little, like you need more cheese. I'm gonna put a little more Parmesan right on top. Bada bing. Nice. I'm gonna take a bite of this. Look at the beautiful, you see all the layers of cheese. You see the ground beef in there. You see the, the penne. Beautiful. This is gonna be a little bit hot. I'm gonna take a little bite. Look at the cheese. Just, oh, it's just wonderful. Thank you guys for watching. Holy cannoli. I'm Ron. I'm gonna take a bite of this right here. We go. Mm. Oh, the cheese is just wonderful. It's it's incredible. The creaminess. The regatta. Don't cheat on the regatta. The creaminess of the regatta is great. Comes together. I taste a little bit of garlic in there. Guys, have fun when you're cooking. Thanks for watching the Holy Cannoli Cooking Show. Have a good one.